Today, we are going over two major upsets that happened at Super Smash Con, being LY versus Spargo and Aaron versus Spargo. Spargo just minted the number two player in the world. People argue that he's number one, and Smash Con, unfortunately, did not go his way. But both of those sets apparently were super hype and super amazing, and they exist even though they were off stream. So let's watch them, see what goes on, see how they were able to beat Spargo, or if Spargo was just having an off day. Because sometimes even the best players in the world have an off day, unless you're a cola. He never has an off day. But anyway, Let's get to the video. Subscribe, turn on notifications. I would appreciate it. Let's go. I do find it kind of funny that I was still like, yeah, LY is probably not going to beat Spargo. And then he did. Again, these will be slightly worse quality just because they are like phone cam stuff. Corrin had, an, had a showing this tournament. I think Corrin, I mean, I've always thought, not always, since Corrin got buffed, I thought this character was like pretty high tier. And I was kind of surprised uh, that people still think this character is kind of mid. That I meet up with Spargo this tournament. Uh, I actually only saw him for like five seconds. And it's like, hey, we should play this weekend. And I'm like, yeah. And then I never saw him again. I also don't think he came to the venue on Sunday. Good get up attack. Saying, hey, Spargo, get off me. Spargo, of course, going to that back air. But you can't just back air for free against Corrin. Because if you're doing landing back airs, uh, the Corrin back air can absolutely come out first. And if you try to space around it, you do get pinned. I mean, I know that... Uh, Spargo has struggled with a Corrin before being MK Leo's Corrin, which granted it's Leo, but he still showed that like there are a lot of things about this matchup that weren't awful. Nair Bear is absolutely going to kill it. 74. Weak Nair as well. Yeah, getting out of the situation. I love that overshoot forward tilt by Spargo, but LY was ready for it. Not ready for the mistech though, so no side B. Establishing some space. I also have no idea. I know the set goes game five, but I don't know who wins what game. Um, so, oh, I like the early uppy too. Yup, with punishing the back air. I love the attempt to whip punish that back air with forward smash, but Spargo holding in. As I've talked about in the, the Gilhu Spargo video, Spargo does hold in a lot. It's like you're kind of supposed to, to be fair. Okay, landing there. Doesn't land on the platform. That's absolutely what LY wanted, so he drops the combo afterwards. But still gets a back throw. Air dodge. Had the air dodge. I actually thought LY was facing the other way. If LY was facing to the left, I'm pretty sure this would be an easy back air, but nope. I assume Sparkle wins this because PS2. I don't think Cloud's like particularly good on PS2. Again, another overshoot forward tilt. Uh... Corrin's not going to be particularly fast, so overshooting is going to be very crucial versus this character. Uh, you do have to still have to respect the aerials and obviously side B, but overshooting on the ground and like not jumping early to get naired is something that's really good, beautiful punish on the air dodge. Maybe, I think so, I guess Spargo here was scared of up air? Yeah, definitely scared of like instant up air, because people would do that, but the Corrin's have gotten really good at punishing fast fall air dodge. I mean, I got hit by... Shaddock so much for doing it, so. Yeah, Spargo swinging for the fences, as he does. Yep, not a true combo after that forward air, but doesn't really get a productive reset. Ooh, that was almost it. Doesn't get it, that back air coming out. Neutral B from Corrin to turn around so you can back air to recover. It can, not going to hit the dash attack either. Still alive is uh, LY. That was like a Joker gun dash level of trickiness, except much trickier. Ledge hop, up air into pin the corner, and then you don't actually go through the opponent. Interesting. Not going to have limit again. That's a big deal. Not having limit... Uh, means that the kill options are going to be less. Granted, Spargo can just get a kill right here, but not being able to have that mobility at least between stocks or like early percent or getting it like fair limit cross, that's just pretty big. Yep. Trying to get these extensions. LY not getting them, but Spargo cannot get this kill. Gets the kill. What the? F Lived at 195? Ooh, I like that back throw. Oh, was so ready to punish the air dodge, but didn't actually get it. This is the power of limit, is just this mobility being higher. No double jump right now. Knew it tried to up air the down air, but did not hit double back air into jump read side B. Where is the side B, Spargo? Is it going to run out? <gasps> it didn't work. Ooh, what a reversal. What? First off, so how did, I'm surprised that missed. Surprised this side B missed. I mean, I guess he was a little high. And a little slow. So then, does this instant nair? And of course, Spargo is like the most prepared, like, hey, 
I can't air dodge in here. Air dodge in gets hit by back air, gets hit by side B, gets hit by a billion things. So he's patient, but LY is a step ahead and goes, yeah, you're not gonna air dodge in, you're Spargo. I'm just gonna kill you. So smart. That was actually so smart. I would say the major standout things from that game were uh, Spargo honestly didn't use limit, like, I feel like he didn't get to use limit a lot. Uh, and LY was able to punish his uh, air dodges to the ground a lot. Oh, but tries to do a weird high recovery there after not having a double jump. Uh, Spargo not even getting the hit, but LY fast falling too early. This type of like game start is definitely going to be Spargo's favor. I'm assuming he wins this game. Yeah, these full hop up air call for people just jumping is crazy. You wish Aaron didn't beat Spargo. But the thing is, even if Aaron lost to Spargo, Spargo would have immediately had to play Mutace, and there's no guarantee that he would have won that either, because Mutace still has the heavy set record on him. Horn's roll is really good. Oh, doesn't get a true punish. Tries to get like a spot dodge read or something. Limit cross slash. Living? Do the YOLO just, I'm gonna kill you with this. 97 too. I mean, bad DI from Spargo as he was holding in from the dash deck, but still. Oh, I have a very funny thing. Like, I found this to be very funny uh, after this set, because I didn't I didn't uh, watch the set beforehand, but I just wanted to make sure that it was, like, correct and got, like, the pop-off and everything. And there's something very funny at the end of this set. Leo wasn't at this tournament. He's taking a break. Ooh, imagine if he was able to get this, like, forward air into uh, finishing touch. Yeah, tries to read the roll in. Kind of misspaced the roll in read anyway. Okay. Yeah, trying to do the instant pin to hit that. Not going to hit ledge jump either. Oh, I just like the YOLO down throw. If you're not going to do a fast throw, you might as well do pummels. But either way, it doesn't matter. Again, uh, really on point with punishing these fast fall air dodges. Like, I don't think Cloud has, like, many better landing options. You have, like, down air and fast fall air dodge, and that's kind of it. Uh, and I feel like people do punish a lot of people's fast fall air dodges, but kind of don't punish Spargo's. Great directional air dodge. I actually love directional air dodge as a uh, landing option. Like, the, the latest possible directional air dodges, I think they're super cool. Like, fast fall air dodge is broken because it, like, you're invincible for so long going down, but, like... The directional air dodge, if you know that someone's going to try to punish you near the ground for uh, fast fall air dodging, it's just so good. What is the song? It's Kullix's theme from Super Mario RPG, which is basically just a Final Fantasy IV song. Oh, I love that. <gasps> if he got the tech chase, that would have been insane. Parrying the final hit. You also don't need to parry. You can just spot dodge, and I think uh, Corrin could probably get spot dodge forward smash. All right, gets the landing fair, and then what? Two frames this. Bop. That's crazy that you can two-frame from there. And yeah, falling with an aerial. It's really hard to land versus Corrin. Yep, landing fair on the mash aerial. Good stuff by Spargo. Like, I would say Spargo's playing his normal self right now. Oh, I love that down air. To kind of stall out the advantage situation. Nice nair. Spargo has limit. Is he going to be able to use it or just, like, use it for the movement? No tech chase there. That would have been huge. There's the cross slash to get, definitely get a better landing because LY has been punishing Sparkle's landings. Ooh, that was a random back air to hit. Uh, it's not gonna be it. Again, almost punishing the fast fire air dodge another time. That would have been four times for stocks in the two games that LY has won. I don't know if LY wins this game, but it would have been the stock. Back air almost hitting. Limit for a Spargo right now. No uppy? Oh no, Spar lives. Yeah, this cross slash was was in my opinion not very good. Like Corrin can really like delay these recoveries. That's to me crazy that that didn't kill. That forward air does though. Wow. Okay, so Spargo does go up to one, which means that Ly must win these next two games. Okay, landing there, down tilt, up tilt. Look at this damage. No double jump on Spargo. He's gonna down air, yup. LY gets 59% from the first open up. <laughs> gets blown up by the limit cross slash though. Nice up B. 
Good DI from uh, LY though. Not pa parrying the forward air. Dropping shield a little too early. I like the down smash. It was a very, that's a very niche move to use, but is this game still good? I haven't played in a long time. This game is godlike. Down tilt up air is just going to straight up kill <laughs> at 113. I think if Spargo DI'd in, which is the way you're supposed to, you still would've got hit by the up air. Uh-oh. Air dodge? No, it gets a landing aerial. Again, that down air coming out, but Spargo this time trading with it. That's a punish, absolutely. Up air, up air, forward air. Not getting the forward air up air, but that's still good damage. Still like 30% into like more pressure. Jesus. Down air? YOLO? No, you couldn't. You should have done it. This is, this is why I can't play characters with stall and falls like that. I would have just SD'd. Like here, I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm just, see you later. I'm just down airing. Like 100%. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Having... Being in the corner versus Spargo when he has limit is so difficult. I love that just YOLO pin doesn't get it though. Again, that's like three pins in five seconds. LY definitely wants to get the kill here, and I'm not saying that I'm complaining because he does end up winning this game, but... Okay, uses the limit to land, even though LY kind of gave up enough space that he could have done so safely. Oh, I tried to end jump grab. Spargo bringing this hella back. If I didn't know that LY won, I would assume that Spargo wins based on how the play is right now. That up How does he win this game? This is like classic Spargo. Turn around jab, not gonna punish. Spargo trying to go for up smash there. I would've got hit by it. Bit of a weird up smash. Oh, it hits the roll in. LY kind of running all the way into him and then all the way away just to not get hit by that overshoot forward tilt that he's been getting hit by. Back air. Ooh, that's a big one. Bop. Oh yeah, Spargo goes too low to not get hit by that uh, pin two frame. Ooh, no jump. Yeah, that's big for Spargo. Good DI by LY to not get hit by that dash attack. DIing down on awake is like so hard there. Beautiful turnaround up tilt as well. That was crazy. Uh oh. Why do I act like I don't know who wins? Okay, falling out. Landing there back here from the fallout. Again, beautiful turnaround down tilts by LY right now. Yeah, the fast flare dodge came out, but uh, LY did not think so. Yep, there's the falling back air, rising back air. It is so good. I'm so happy I play a short character that that's just a jump read if they get it on me, as opposed to just it working. I love the covering high. Kind of surprised that Spargo's air dodge didn't grab the ledge there. Okay, down tilt, nothing. Landing up air, landing up air. That was... Could have got more from that for sure. Another landing up air. Suddenly, LY has the lead this game. Pin. Just trying to punish just a really lazy forward air. It absolutely would have worked too. Had the punish, but wanted the max, the best possible forward air. So not going to get it. Forward air, spot dodge into down tilt. Spargo trying to or beat the spot dodge out, but doesn't because Cloud's grab is so slow. Two frames are breaking the set. There should be all. There should always be big deals versus Cloud. Oh, that. Turn around forward tilt, not gonna work. Up smash, getting the kill. Spargo had the lead going into this last stock. Okay, limit. Blade beam, not gonna combo into the back air like it normally does. Ooh, missing that punish on the downer too. LY was ready, but it's a good move for a reason. Limit on Spargo. Almost gets the, ooh! Got it, was that the start of limit blade beam? It's hard to tell what he was doing. Whatever it is, didn't work. 56% separate these two players. That's going to be some big damage. Up air, up air. Thought he was going to air dodge the platform. Did not. That's a pin. Not going to get the full kick, though. Beautiful falling up air. Look at how big this move is, dude. It's huge. Whoosh. Ugh. Crazy. Trying to hit the air dodges before they come out. Up air trading look. This is now winning for LY. And of course, the um the reason LY's been going for all these spot dodges is because forward air is minus five if it's fresh or minus four. So technically Uppy will not be a true punish, but he wants to spot dodge and then get a big punish on it. And uh Spargo's having trouble reading the defensive option from afterwards. Beautiful down smash, what's spacing? Wow. 
Ooh, that downer was questionable, but Spargo going for the lowest possible side B. None of these side Bs have worked out. It's just a little slow. And again, this is last hit. Like, both of these players can die right now. Less so LY, but Spargo definitely can. Yeah, again, another fastball air dodge. This killed Spargo the entire set. And the thing is, like, what other options do you have? Unless you're just going to go to ledge, but you don't want to go to ledge because you're Cloud. LY pops off. Apparently, this actually caused some issues with the set next to it because I think that was Lemon versus um, Jazo, and it was rough. But the thing that I want to kind of point out is here. I mean, LY pops off and is very, very happy about it, right? And Akola literally shakes his... Uh, granted, this is not for the reason I'm saying. I'm just putting my spin on it. Like, they're probably just happy because they beat the top player, right? Like, there's so much like pride the Japanese players always want to like beat the best players and, like everyone does but especially the Japanese players and Okola just hugs him for like 20 for like a long time which granted again is just like they're happy they beat the best player but in my head it's Okola going oh my god if I stay through winners I probably win the tournament he's just happy because he's probably no he knows from this set that he probably wins the tournament which again I don't necessarily think is true but like he's like fuck yeah hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> Anyway, that was one of the upsets. Now let's go to the other, being Aaron versus Spargo. Again, I do think the Cloud Cloud Diddy's totally like an even matchup. Good punish. And Aaron's been playing very well recently, right? Like, he's been playing really well at the CFL locals. He's just been doing well, so Aaron is one of those players that can always just turn up. I mean, able to beat plenty of super, super top players. I'm so sorry. This is kind of unwatchable. But a banana? Up throw, no up air, but no air dodge on Spargo right now. Jesus, look at that clean ass first stock. Chatting the way this sucks, I'm doing my best, okay? There's a punish with the banana pluck right there. You're gonna be able to reestablish control. Oh, I actually didn't pick up banana. I think that was supposed to be dash attack. That worked. But right now, Aaron up a ton. And again, I wouldn't say Spargo's doing anything necessarily wrong. He's just getting outplayed, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure that Spargo, if he were to watch all this back, would be like, yeah, I can see exactly where I messed up. Like, I misinputted, I blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm sure that is true, right? Because it's always easier to tell as the person doing the things if you messed up or not. But I love Aaron just going to the ledge, not really worrying about it. Because, like, if you have monkey flip or quick attack or something, like, you're generally chilling there and you can just not land on top of the up air. The broken cloud up air, right? Spargo smartly not rolling towards Aaron. Okay, but getting some juggle situations. Beautiful forward tilt. Like, again, he's doing some good stuff. Oh, that could have been stock for Aaron, though. That getup attack absolutely could have been punished with a banana into turnaround, like, down tilt. Oh, that's dead. Again, one thing I will say is, like, Spargo is swinging, but also Spargo always swings. Like, that's not really it. Oh, he's playing bad and playing antsy. Like, he always does that. They just work more so. <laughs> like, they just work all the time. Whether winning or losing, right? Like, Spargo is just an antsy player when he's, uh, especially when he's down or when he's, like, trying to get, like, big reads. Okay, there's a great down tilt tech chase from Aaron. I'm so sorry for this. I, this is hard. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best, okay? You can notice that in his body language. But again, he always does it. Wow. That's, like, one of the best things about having these type of projectiles, especially Diddy's, is he can notice where Spargo's aerial mobility is, right? So it's like, jumps forward, jumps backwards. You know he's not gonna hold forward again, because that is not gonna be uh, true. So he just goes, okay, well, you're gonna land on platform, and then just guesses. That was just a guess. It was a three out of four chance, right? Because it's gonna hit get up attack, neutral get up, and roll to the left. Can did the up throw up air be a true confirm? Yes, it only really kills on platform, though. This camera loves zooming in, or rather focusing on the back of Spargo's head. I monkey flip, yup, be reverse, yup, gonna grab ledge. I think Aaron's making a lot of smart decisions right now. And limit blade beam coming out. Yeah, okay, I was like, something limit's coming out like right now. Yep, can't get antsy off of ledge against Spargo. Cloud in general, but especially Spargo, because Spargo just swings. Uh-oh, damage, damage, damage. I mean, up throw up air is a really obvious, is like a big confirm for Diddy Kong, but it's not necessarily going to be a kill confirm. And just so you guys know, Sp uh, Aaron is waiting on these uppies, because if you uppie immediately out of hitstun, you actually just kind of fall with your falling, like your gravity. So you have to wait a little bit so that doesn't happen, so Aaron's delaying the uppies just in case extra long. 
It's so interesting. I feel like so many of us are like deterred from parrying Cloud back air or trying to be right because like Spargo does a good job of mixing it up, but I feel like letting him just back air our shield because we're scared to parry is definitely the wrong option. We just need to, you know, read the mix ups better as opposed to like not even trying. Yeah. Oh, trying to aggressively get off the ledge yet again. Aaron bringing this back. Can he get this kill? Again, I know he wins. Yeah. So hard to get off of the ledge versus Spargo, especially when Aaron obviously had his win con of get the uh, banana and do something with it. Isn't his bear safe on parry? It's minus six on parry. If he does it perfectly. So it depends on the spacing if it's safe or not. Is the banana not tripping the thing by chance? No, if you're in the air, it doesn't trip. Like a lot of times, Spargo will absolutely be back airing like it, like literally this type of back air, right? Where you're back airing into your opponent. Um, so it's not necessarily going to be safe at all spacings. Parrying the forwarders, though, is Aaron, and I think that is at the very least super important. Like parrying at least that. Again, another banana. Look at this lead for Aaron. I feel like they just both have so much control when they're getting their game plan. Like, not a, not just like Diddy and Cloud, but specifically Aaron and Spargo. That's a punish. But it was on the ground. Yeah, he, he like barely jumped. I think Aaron tried to get that cheeky little throw banana up on shield into it trips, but ended up getting the... Uh, damage after this. I wonder if Spargo tried to up B this, because you can up B uh, down tilt on shield. Oh, he tried to grab it. Yeah, that's not going to be guaranteed ever. Expecting Aaron to hold shield, but nope. Nice parry on the back air. Not wanting to risk a down tilt there. Oh, no tech chase either. Spargo now has the lead. Could that not have been finishing touch? I feel like Spargo doesn't get some combos he's able to. I feel like that up air finishing touch would have absolutely connected if he just dump, jump, double jump finishing touch. Nice F tilt. Sparkle playing really well all of a sudden. Yeah, Spargo DIing in, so he's not going to get nared down aired off the stage. Up smash. Did both of these players win two straight when down 2-1? Because I can't imagine Aaron wins this game. Like, he can. But, like, he's probably not going to. Yeah. Like, Spargo's playing well, right? Like, that's what makes this impressive. I feel like sometimes you lose, and it's like, well, I was playing bad. I messed up a billion things. I was just not in it that day. Spargo's in it. He's up 2-1 against both of these players. But it doesn't matter. Aaron beat him. Because he is from CFL. Oh, maybe you get Perry down tilt there. Oh no, saved him. <gasps> no, that was it. He had no double jump. I don't think Aaron really recognized that until after he did the Z drop. He's like, wait. Oh, yep, that's. <gasps> Diddy Kong sucks. Diddy Kong doesn't suck. <laughs> that would have been. If Spargo got like 30 to 50% from this drop, that would have been tragic. Wait, that didn't kill? I just, I was like, wait, how did Spargo get to such high percent? Oh my god, he sucks again! Bro, did he sucks? Oh my god. Dude, I would be so tilted. Oh, we take those. Oh, great stuff by Aaron. No limit all right now on Spargo, obviously. Yeah, trying to read the air dodge or the mash, doesn't get it. There's some damage from Aaron. Gets the banana as well. Look at this control right now. Even after the unfortunate mishaps of the first stock, he's going to go up a lot of damage here at the very least. Doesn't want to down tilt because it is punishable by limit up B. Gets the neutral up though. Why do Diddy players do down tilt into F tilt instead of down tilt into down smash? Uh, because forward tilt hits higher in the air. It's probably character dependent what they go for. Also, forward tilt sends at a better angle. Oh, great. I think, okay, I think that's a misinput. I definitely think Spargo meant to do runoff, reverse, up B, and got side B. So that's that's a misinput that led to a stock. Okay, we got one. Speaking of getting one, there's Spargo. That's a punish. Forward throw, forward air. Yup, the classic. That's the Smash 4 classic. Is just forward and throw forward air on the characters that get edge guarded. Specifically, like Cloud was a big one. You did this too. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, almost getting the swag combo. Almost got the back air, up air, down air. Bop. With the up air not hitting. Regardless, Aaron's playing ridiculously well. Like, dude, I feel so bad for him. He beats Spargo in the set and then loses the next set to get 33rd. He doesn't even make it to the final day. Yeah, no banana. You know, like, again, it makes sense that Diddy would monkey flip here because you expect the person to shield for banana, but Spargo knows that and just jumps. Yep, down tilt back here. That's going to be game. I feel like Aaron overall played this so well. Jesus. That was amazing. Interesting Smashville pick. I don't know if Smashville's particularly good for Cloud. I actually don't know where his good stages are. Okay, landing up air. But the banana being out means that Aaron can't get that landing hit. Gonna double jump, monkey flip, yup. I love being able to get out of those situations. It's so good. Yeah, beautiful parry on the down tilt, e equaling a side B punish. Has limit, very uh, even percent, barely missing that back air. Loki, if this back air hit, we might be seeing a different set. Like, look how close this is. Jesus. Ooh, nice landing up air. Gets an F tilt. Maybe could have up smashed, but I think Spargo isn't really up smashing given uh, the fact that, ooh, given the fact that he has got punished for it several times and it's only worked like once. Nice landing forward air. There's the banana. F tilt. That shit never works. Like, I feel like the Diddy Kong players are lying. I know they're not, but like, it feels like they're lying. When they're like, four tilt's a good two frame. Yup, less invincibility, easy way to time it for Spargo. Ooh! What? That was crazy from Aaron. Covering the roll, and then recognizing that Spargo did roll. Like, the thing about Spargo, one of his biggest habits is if he's at high percent, he really doesn't, um... He never waits on ledge, ever. He always does something immediately. Aaron down some percent, but 30% is nothing to really worry about. Thought he was gonna roll in, which I agree with. I probably also would have gone for a roll in, Reed. Forward air. Nice air dodge on the blade beam. Oh God, I would've got hit by that. I would've panicked. I would've somehow got hit by it. Okay, but good composure by Aaron. Spargo getting a little into it, as you can tell. I mean, again, that's <laughs> he hasn't been up smashing. He up smashes one time and then like freaks out when it doesn't work. But again, it, he's not up smashing because he's antsy and playing bad. That's just what Spargo does. How did that down tilt work? That's a crazy anti-air with that down tilt. Good grab by Spargo. Getting grabbed by Cloud feels so bad and Spargo gets so many grabs. Yeah, no limit blade beam. Not holding any of these kill moves like Spargo is ripping a lot of kill moves kind of as early as possible, but also people do that. Beautiful punish on the air dodge, though. Nice up air. That's the kill. He got the down tilt forward smash on the limit cloud. This is super niche. What the f***? That's like the nichest combo in this game? Because he becomes a fast faller from the limit and then got the super inside down tilt. What a crazy recognition from Aaron right there. And you have to stutter step the forward smash. God, that was good. No, person, please go back and watch the set. Thank you. Okay, down throw, up air, back air, back air. How did, dude, the thing is, how did Aaron have the composure not to just try to kill him right here? We're like, just like, read here, F tilt air, do like F tilt the air dodge or something. Like, that's crazy. I like how a bunch of these people are literally watching the reactions to the game. Like, all of these people that you can't really see, everyone's watching the people behind them to know what's going on. Nice up by Spargo. Forward air coming out, though. Like, again, Cloud's up does suck. Cloud's up is not good. And people are finally falling out of it in, like, the correct way. <gasps> oh, Dad, that might have been game, actually. I don't think he had enough space for down tilt uh, forward smash again, but it would have been at least down tilt back or half to waste limit. Monkey flip is so good in this matchup. Wow, like that covered platform and drop through, that's crazy. Throw banana while clouds in the air. Where's the limit gonna come out, right here? No. Good grab by Spargo. Terrifying, nice nair, no, <gasps> that could have been the game. This could have absolutely been 
that banana, he could have just landed and done down tilt up smash, or just charge up smash, that might have been the game, but Aaron didn't realize it would actually hit, so he just goes for the normal combo, doesn't get the F tilt there, Spargo, beautiful up tilt, I'd be so, okay, forward air? Not gonna get that. Banana isn't, <gasps> he gets the down tilt on the neutral getup again, this is what I'm talking about, Spargo does not, he doesn't wait on ledge, so Aaron down tilts once to cover ledge jump, down tilts twice to cover the neutral getup, and gets the kill, and then pops off. He deserves it, to be honest, because that was a hell of a set. Again, I don't think Sparkle played poorly. Did he get cert antsy a little bit sometimes? Yeah, but one, every player does that. Two, Sparkle specifically always does up smash like that. So I don't think that was him playing bad at all. That was just really good stuff by both LY and Aaron. Unfortunately, that puts Spargo out of 49th, which has some implications for the rest of the season, which is why Spargo deactivated his Twitter because he didn't want to deal with it. And also people are mean and would have like shit talked him for it. Like I think Spargo played really well there. It's just the, everyone is so good in this game. Like an LY literally was the third highest place in Corrin, which is kind of fucked up. You beat Spargo and you're the third highest placement of your character. That's terrible. Uh. And Aaron, of course, has beat plenty of other top 10 players before, has won a, like, Invitational-type major thing with the PAX Invitational. Uh, like, the PAX, the, what was it, the PAX better than, better than Pro? He beat Light and Cola there, and that was, like, peak Cola. So, yeah, two really good players beating Spargo. Just proof, this game is hard. This game is so hard. But you know it's not hard. Click on the subscribe button. I would appreciate it down below in the notifications. Join my streams. I stream four days a week, too, by the way.